Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, this isn't another toy review today. This is more of a fossil review, actually. I recently uh, purchased a fossil collection kit. This is basically a, a good fossil starter pack. And it includes a geologic time scale and 12 identified specimens of fossil. So I'm just going to go through, give my thoughts on each of these, and, uh, and we'll basically see which, uh, if I recommend it or not. I, this is my initial impression. I haven't opened this at all. And we are just going to get into this and check it out. Okay, so first fossil I pulled out is this fossil trilobite. Uh, it is, this is, in the, uh, type of trilobite is called Elrathia king eye. Uh, I'll read it off here for you. From the Middle Cambrian period, 550 million years ago, or 550 million years old, trilobites are an extinct form of marine life occurring in the Wheeler Shale. These many-legged arthropods roam the sandy bottom of seas and coral reefs in search of food. Hold on a second. Trilobites were the first invertebrate form of life on the Earth found in the House Range Antelope Spring, Millard County, Utah. Interesting. So, yeah, that's not bad. That, And if we get a closer look at this specimen... Yeah, that's a really nice trilobite. I really do like that. And this one is actually a piece of fossilized dinosaur bone. Yes, that is right. This kit does come with a piece of fossilized dinosaur bone. Uh, that's actually very interesting. I'm rather surprised that they did include that. But it looks really nice. It does look like a rock. But based on the reviews I saw, the, all of these are professionally identified. So, yeah. we act, This is another piece of dinosaur bone I have. I do have a couple pieces sitting around my room, but... This is a very good piece, and this it, that's really nice that they included that. Next, we have a fossil shark tooth, and a big one at that. Uh, that is actually a very big shark tooth. I'm very surprised that they had one of this size. I would have thought it would be a little smaller than this, but this is really good. Uh, this is from the Miocene. It says My Miocene period. That's actually not correct. It would be more accurately be Miocene Epic. But that's very good. That That's a very nice tooth. Uh, I don't have too many of this actual size. So that's, that's very good. I do think that's good. There's nothing on the back. But yeah, that, that's really cool. Very nice shark tooth. And this is an Ammonite. Uh, Ammonite for a squid-like rep. Uh, squid-like creature, but it and their closest living relatives today are squid, uh, nautilus, and octopi. Uh, this actually says it's a sea reptile and that it's an air-breathing animal. That is not correct. Uh, they are cephalopods, like again, squids and octopi. Uh, aside from that, I think everything else is seems to be pretty accurate, and that is a very cute little ammonite. Uh, shell. That's really nice. I do like that. Next we have this fossil horn coral from the Mississippian period. Uh, they, uh, horn corals look a lot like, uh, modern corals, and I actually do have some modern corals around here somewhere. But yeah, this is actually really good. I don't have one of these specifically, but it looks really nice. Uh, it is from Utah, same as, uh, Trilobite, so... Yeah, that's not that's not a bad specimen. I do like that. I'm I'm really starting to appreciate the variety of specimens that they're giving us. And this is actually a double specimen. This uh, pack actually has two specimens of of a crinoid stem. Uh, they uh, crinoids actually are closely related to today's sea lilies, starfish and sea urchins, so that's actually really nice, and the quality of these specimens is actually really, really nice. Uh, at first it does look like there's one, 
but there are actually, in fact, two. I shifted them around, and... Yeah, so, you get two in this pack, so that's, that's really nice. That is, that is actually really, really nice. And this is a fossil turritella. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, this actually isn't just one individual specimen, this is a whole bunch... Apologies. This is a whole bunch, uh, all crammed together into one rock. So, that's actually really cool. Uh, so far, this is the biggest thing that has come out of this pack, and I really do like it. Uh, that's not bad. Uh, really, this entire thing is a fossil, because it's an entire conglomeration of... Turritella shells. I, that name gets me. But yeah, that's not bad. So far, the biggest thing out of the pack. Uh, let's, let's just keep going. This is actually really, really nice, so far. And now we have a gastropod. I actually have a lot of these. Um, gastropods are very, very common fossils to find in these sorts of kits. I have so many of these, and I now have one more. Uh, this is actually a really nice little gastropod, uh, shell. I really do like that, and I can't wait to see what else we have in this kit, because it... They included a, several staples, like a shark tooth, uh, crinoid stems, and now a gastropod, so... This is very inclusive. Now we have a sea urchin fossil. This is actually a very, very, uh, very, fairly rare to have in one of these fossil kits. I only have one other one around here somewhere, so I'm glad to finally get another one after a while. Uh, it says that this species is actually from the Jurassic period, but I don't think it says what species it is. Uh, but that's really nice. I'm very surprised that they included a sea urchin. Uh, cause you don't really get too many of those. And I'm, I'm really glad that they included one. So that's another point for them, and I really do like it. That's a very nice little specimen. And I really just want to keep going. This is really cool. Okay, now we have a fossil brachiopod. Uh, brachiopods, we still have them today, and they, re they do resemble clams. Uh, that's actually a very nice. Brachiopods are, again, a staple of a fossil kit, and this is very nice. Uh, this is really, really cool. So, yeah, uh, a very nice fossil brachiopod. Seems to be very well preserved, and I will... Uh, keep going. We have a couple more left to do here, but that that's very good. And here we actually have something that I don't have yet, actually. Uh, this is fossil algae, uh, also known as a stromatolite. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, this is actually very cool. Um, most fossil kits that I've seen don't include one of these, so that's very cool that they did include that. Uh, basically this entire specimen, this entire, uh, rock is the fossil. Uh, it's just layer upon layer upon layer of fossil algae. So that's really nice that they included that, uh, props to them, and, and yeah, that, that that's really cool that they did include fossil algae. Uh, I don't see too many of these around, so that's very, very nice. And now we have our final fossil. This is Fossil wood, also known as petrified wood. Uh, I Again, I don't see too many of these in fossil kits, but I'm really surprised and very happy that uh, we did, that I did get some, one of these. So that's very cool. Uh, yes, petrified wood is very uh, interesting. I'll actually, uh, by the time you guys see this, I'll actually be out in out looking for petrified wood and other minerals and fossils, so I might take a video of that adventure and put that up online for, for you guys as well when I get back. But it, yeah, petrified wood, very rare to us. Well, not very rare, it's fairly common in certain areas, but it's, it's rare to see in fossil kits. I don't really see these. This fossil kit is, uh, this fossil kit is very inclusive. I really do like it. And this is basically the geologic time scale. It goes from the Precambrian all the way up to the Holocene epoch, and that 
and this actually does seem fairly accurate. Uh, and over here it actually shows you which of your fossils go where. So we have our sea urchin, our trilobite, our ammonite, our dinosaurs, our shark tooth, our petrified wood. This is all ve this is very nice. I really do like that they included this. And yeah, that this whole kit is very well done. I, I pr prop to prop to the makers. And this is all of the fossils in this kit, along with the time scale. Uh, overall, this is very nice. I really do recommend it. Uh, I will put the price up on the screen. And yeah, this is this is very nice. A very good kit. I highly recommend it if you're if you're just starting to get into fossils and paleontology and science. It's it's very nice, very inclusive. Uh, I really do like it, and I. I feel that this was very worthwhile to do. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you do like this uh, sort of content, please subscribe for more. I'm doing a, a whole bunch of stuff like toy reviews and film reviews. So thank you all so much for watching. It really means a lot that you choose to watch my channel and my reviews. And I will see you all next time.